Well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Okay, guys. Um, I did say I was going to start making these here, so uh, we're going to be playing Bloodborne for the next few while alongside Fallout. I've got I'm overloaded on Fallout, so Bloodborne will just Bloodborne shouldn't take too long. So we're gonna go with maybe an Arcane Hunter, so uh, so an Arcane sort of skill hunter. So uh, so let's see what we'll, what we'll call it. Just blind map. No L O U D. Oh, mm. right, there we go. Uh, we're gonna pick female because why the hell not? Shit. Um, makes no difference. Um, we're gonna go with whatever. Bill has the least blood tinge because we're not gonna be really using blood tinge in this. And then we already have a pre. Obviously, we've got a pre favorite. Okay, guys. Good. All signed and sealed. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. You found yourself a hunter. And here we start, guys. Sorry if you heard my phone go off in the middle of that. But um, I was recommend a few of my friends in tech asked me to do this. So yeah, and if you're talking, if you think the achievements are going to pop up, no, they're not. I've already platinum this game. I'm doing. I was. Uh, my friend asked me to do this because. I make multiple builds and I have a great enthusiasm in this game. Plus, the old Hunter DLC is out on the 24th, if I am correct. So, we're gonna make, start making builds to get test out these new weapons. Now, I have heard of a few of the weapons that are coming out. Look, they look pretty damn interesting now, and I might go out of my way and make a Beast Claw build. Don't quote me on that one now, guys. I might. Because the base claws, I do like them, but for now, I'm just going to rock something like a Siderite Arcane Hunter. Because there was a weapon that I did have great intrigue in whenever the original trailer was released. I had a great intrigue in the bow blade, I think it's called Simon's bow blade, I think it's been referenced. I think my friend said some of this. Uh, so we're going to make it, we're going to make a build, we're just going to call it the Siderite Hunter. Because it will be this build will be based on the Blades of Mercy and German's Burial Blade, hopefully. One of the two will just be, will work and see what we can get out of it. Obviously, all those games are very, all those weapons are very somewhat late game, so we'll be sticking to what we know. And if you would kindly die, please, that would help. Cursed beast, 
Piss off. Give me those. Give me a second. I'm gonna start nuking these guys. Oh you! Piss off! Oh you! Well that just failed on the metric skill. So realistically we're not gonna get through this at a reasonably good speed. If I do any chalice dungeons to get some of the more powerful gems, I'll record them separately and put them in as their only things so all well. Rather than that the 90% of what we're doing, we're just going to get our... 90% of what we're doing, we're just going to carve our way through, really. Good. I'll take my time and I'll not do any spoilers. We'll just take it a bit at a time. But basically, before the 24th, I'll want to finish the game and finish the Chalice Dungeons. Which shouldn't shouldn't be too difficult, but if I die, you'll know about it. So, well. Right, so, we're gonna take the Hunter's Axe first. Because it has a tri radial, not radial, triangular gem slot. We're gonna take the Hunter's Pistol, prepare it over the Thunderbolt. We're gonna take that. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm getting used to all the different things. So, I am. Alright, center of the arm. We will take our time through most of it. But on that though, we will, we'll not speed run it, but we'll take our time and do bit by bit. So we will. If need be, I will edit it down so it's um, it's much quicker. You will, you'll know all the difference. I'll cut out all the unnecessaries, loading screen, that just bits and bobs that aren't really needed. So we will, and we'll cut straight through it. So we will. If a uh, there is a difference in what's happening, I either I'll grind it off camera. Or something like that there. I'll have grinded off camera to build up so level and stuff like that there. So well, so that means I can carve through easily enough. So well, because I am, if need be, now I, I do use. I'll not be using the Ludwig's blade on this this run, but if need be, I will just to speed up the process because the Ludwig's just makes bosses look like. Tic tac really. There's not there's not really much words to be said about it. Just, the Ludwig's just carves them up like nothing ordinary. But if need be, I will I'll be the way I'll do it. And we'll put on we death counter for the laps of it too. To see how many times I die during this entire run. And I'll be counting the main game, not the top chalice dungeons, because they can be a bit sometimes. And I think I'm about to die now. Nope. Not dead just yet. But, yeah, we're going to focus sort of arcane and skill, because we will be using the side right weapons, aka the Blades of Mercy and the Burial Blade, just to speed up the process of it. Uh, obviously, they're all, well, I don't get one of the weapons until like, the very feckin' end, unless I go through one of the Chalice Dungeons, which is a bitch to get through if you're not good at the game. And I, I'm... I, I, I wouldn't say I'd be great, but I'd be okay at it. I've platinumed it, so that means I have went through the deepest dungeons and killed Yarnum. Whether or not you class that as uh, achievement or not, that's up to yourself. But yeah, we're just gonna try and move this along rather swiftly while trying to keep ourselves. In check. See, this I, the reason why I chose the hunter axe for this very start instead of the thread of Kian for the likes of the skill build was because actually, I actually don't know. <laughs> That's just that I actually don't know. I'm good. But if need be, like I'll speed up a load of the portions or cut a lot of it out. It's because a lot of it is just t tedious killing. Like here. Ouch, bitch. And uh, like we'll be we we'll be doing this as its own like a very quick playthrough because a lot of people though I played the game, so a lot of people that I know 
what's going on and how everything works. So we'll keep it as quick as possible. So well, I and whenever I say as quick as possible, I literally mean as quick as possible. But um, actually, I should have went with a threaded cane. Now that I think about it, I'll buy it later because there's actually a good reason to have the threaded cane. Sounds stupid, but believe me, it works. So it does. But um, threaded cane and a saw cleaver are my two main go-to's at the minute. Please. Okay, guys, time to start cheesing. Time to trigger the cheese. The cheese will be real now. There's no harm to anybody. I really hate fighting these things. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, move. I'm alive. I'm alive and well. Get out of my way. Move it. You know from the way that I'm playing that I have uh, really perfected what I do in this game. He is a Dark Souls. He's a Dark Souls 1 and 2 veteran. He never finished Demon's Souls and he never finished. No, actually, he never finished this. So the likely odds is, is he won't be getting the old of DLC either. I would highly doubt it. So what? What time now? I'm doing well. So, um, but yeah, there was a few. My little brother didn't really. He didn't get into Bloodborne per se. So he didn't. Well, there we go. There's our shortcut activated. That's part one down. So cleric beast, and then five gas coin. Um, we can wombo combo them into two, but considering this is sort of a very, I'll try and detail the playthrough so well because of I have, as previously stated, I have finished this game, so that's it's just all fun to me. I'm just retreading as I, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers says, retreading old water. But um, I'm working, I'm doing this here for anybody who's watching. Um, die. Die. So yeah, basically I'll be showing off shortcuts, item locations, the dickwad chalice dungeons. What else have we got? Some of the bosses, well all the bosses technically, it's just we're going to be doing somewhat of a complete playthrough because first of all I want to be level 100 whenever I go into that damn DLC so that means PvP is active. Considering it's a nightmare. I wonder is the PvP active in it? I will be doing the PESS! Oh you! <clears throat> Considering the the way that it works, if I keep it up, I could probably finish the main game by some point this evening, hopefully. So, well. Hopefully. Okay guys, this will be the end of the first episode, so well, um, we'll continue on from here, and in the next episode, there will be a few changes, hopefully. Um, this is Loudmouth Gaming, signing off. If you liked it, hit the like button, and if you want to see more, subscribe. See you all in the next vid, guys.